Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel was a German philosopher of the late Enlightenment. He achieved wide renown in his day and, while primarily influential within the continental tradition of philosophy, has become increasingly influential in the analytic tradition as well. Although he remains a divisive figure, his canonical stature within Western philosophy is universally recognized. Hegel's principal achievement is his development of a distinctive articulation of idealism sometimes termed absolute idealism in which the dualisms of, for instance, mind and nature and subject and object are overcome. His philosophy of spirit conceptually integrates psychology, the state, history, art, religion, and philosophy. His account of the master-slave dialectic has been highly influential, especially in 20th century France. Of special importance is his concept of spirit as the historical manifestation of the logical concept and the sublation of seemingly contradictory or opposing factors. Examples include the apparent opposition between nature and freedom and between immanence and transcendence. Hegel has been seen in the 21st century as the originator of the thesis, antithesis, synthesis triad, however this originated with Johann Fichte. Hegel has influenced many thinkers and writers whose own positions vary widely. Karl Barth described Hegel as a Protestant Aquinas, while Maurice Merleau-Ponty wrote that all the great philosophical ideas of the past century, the philosophies of Marx and Nietzsche, phenomenology, German existentialism, and psychoanalysis, had their beginnings in Hegel, life, early years, childhood Hegel was born on August 27, 1770 in Stuttgart, in the Duchy of Württemberg in southwestern Germany, christened Georg Wilhelm Friedrich, he was known as Wilhelm to his close family. His father, Georg Ludwig, was Rentkammer Secretar at the court of Karl Eugen, Duke of Wattenberg. Hegel's mother, Maria Magdalena Luisa, was the daughter of a lawyer at the High Court of Justice at the Wattenberg Court. She died of a bilious fever when Hegel was 13. Hegel and his father also caught the disease but narrowly survived. Hegel had a sister, Christiane Louise, and a brother, Georg Ludwig, who was to perish as an officer in Napoleon's Russian campaign of 1812. At the age of three Hegel went to the German school when he entered the Latin school. Two years later, he already knew the first declension, having been taught it by his mother. In 1776, Hegel entered Stuttgart's Gymnasium Aluster. During his adolescence Hegel read voraciously, copying lengthy extracts in his diary. Authors he read include the poet Klopstock and writers associated with the Enlightenment, such as Christian Garv and Gotthold Ephraim Lessing. Hegel's studies at the gymnasium were concluded with his abiturda entitled The Abortive State of Art and Scholarship in Turkey, Tübingen. At the age of 18 Hegel entered the Tübinger Stift where two fellow students were to became vital to his development, poet Friedrich Holderlin, and philosopher to be Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling, sharing a dislike for what they regarded as the restrictive environment of the seminary. The three became close friends and mutually influenced each other's ideas. All greatly admired Hellenic civilization, and Hegel additionally steeped himself in Rousseau and Lessing during this time. They watched the unfolding of the French Revolution with shared enthusiasm. Schelling and Holderlin immersed themselves in theoretical debates on Kantian philosophy, from which Hegel remained aloof. Hegel at this time envisaged his future as that of a popular philosopher, i.e., a man of letters, who serves to make the abstruse ideas of philosophers accessible to a wider public. His own felt need to engage critically with the central ideas of Kantianism did not come until 1800. Bern and Frankfurt having received his theological certificate from the Tübingen Seminary, Hegel became Hofmeister to an aristocratic family in Bern. During this period he composed the text which has become known as The Life of Jesus and a book-length manuscript titled The Positivity of the Christian Religion, his relations with his employers becoming strained. 
Hegel accepted an offer mediated by Holderland to take up a similar position with a wine merchant's family in Frankfurt, where he moved in 1797. Here Holderland exerted an important influence on Hegel's thought. While in Frankfurt Hegel composed the essay, Fragments on Religion and Love, in 1799. He wrote another essay entitled, The Spirit of Christianity and Its Fate, unpublished during his lifetime. Also in 1797, the unpublished and unsigned manuscript of the oldest systematic program of German idealism was written. It was written in Hegel's hand but thought to have been authored by Hegel, Schelling, Holderlin, or by all three. Career years Jena, Bamberg and Nuremberg, 1801-1816 In 1801, Hegel came to Jena with the encouragement of his old friend Schelling who held the position of extraordinary professor at the university there. Hegel secured a position at the university as a private docent after submitting a habilitation shrift on the orbits of the planets. Later in the year Hegel's first book, The Difference Between Fichte's and Schelling's Systems of Philosophy, was completed. He lectured on logic and metaphysics, and gave joint lectures with Schelling on them, Introduction to the Idea and Limits of True Philosophy, and held a philosophical disputorium in 1802. Schelling and Hegel founded a journal, the Kritische Journal der Philosophie to which they each contributed pieces until the collaboration was ended when Schelling left for Würzburg in 1803. In 1805, the university promoted Hegel to the position of extraordinary professor. After Hegel wrote a letter to the poet and minister of culture Johann Wolfgang Goethe protesting at the promotion of his philosophical adversary, Jacob Friedrich Fries ahead of him. Hegel attempted to enlist the help of the poet and translator Johann Heinrich Voss to obtain the post at the newly renaissance University of Heidelberg, but failed. To his chagrin, Fries was later in the same year made ordinary professor there. His finances drying up quickly, Hegel was now under great pressure to deliver his book, The Long-Promised Introduction to His System. Hegel was putting the finishing touches to this book, The Phenomenology of Spirit, as Napoleon engaged Prussian troops on October 14, 1806, in the Battle of Jena on a plateau outside the city. On the day before the battle, Napoleon entered the city of Jena. Hegel recounted his impressions in a letter to his friend Friedrich Emanuel Neathama. I saw the emperor, this world soul, riding out of the city on reconnaissance. It is indeed a wonderful sensation to see such an individual, who, concentrated here at a single point, astride a horse, reaches out over the world and masters it. This extraordinary man, whom it is impossible not to admire, although Napoleon chose not to close down Jena as he had other universities, the city was devastated and students deserted the university in droves, making Hegel's financial prospects even worse. The following February Hegel's landlady Christiana Bickhardt gave birth to their son Georg Ludwig Friedrich Fischer. In March 1807, aged 37, Hegel moved to Bamberg, where Neathema had declined and passed on to Hegel an offer to become editor of a newspaper, the Bamberger Zeitung. Hegel, unable to find more suitable employment, reluctantly accepted. Ludwig Fischer and his mother stayed behind in Jena. He was then, in November 1808, again through Neathama, appointed headmaster of a gymnasium in Nuremberg, a post he held until 1816. While in Nuremberg Hegel adapted his recently published Phenomenology of Spirit for use in the classroom, part of his remit being to teach a class called Introduction to Knowledge of the Universal Coherence of the Sciences. Hegel developed the idea of an encyclopedia of the philosophical sciences, falling into three parts. Hegel married Marie Helena Susanna von Toucher, the eldest daughter of a senator, in 1811. This period saw the publication of his second major work, The Science of Logic, and the birth of his two legitimate sons, Carl Friedrich Wilhelm and Emanuel Thomas Christian. 
Heidelberg and Berlin. Soon after, in April 1817, his illegitimate son Ludwig Fischer joined the Hegel household, having thus far spent his childhood in an orphanage. Hegel published the Encyclopedia of the Philosophical Sciences in outline as a summary of his philosophy for students attending his lectures at Heidelberg. In 1818, Hegel accepted the renewed offer of the Chair of Philosophy at the University of Berlin, which had remained vacant since Johann Gottlieb Fichte's death in 1814. Here he published his Philosophy of Right. Hegel devoted himself primarily to delivering his lectures, his lecture courses on aesthetics, the philosophy of religion, the philosophy of history, and the history of philosophy were published posthumously from lecture notes taken by his students. His fame spread and his lectures attracted students from all over Germany and beyond. Hegel was appointed rector of the university in 1830, when he was 60. He was deeply disturbed by the riots for reform in Berlin in that year. In 1831, Frederick William III decorated him for his service to the Prussian state. In August 1831 a cholera epidemic reached Berlin and Hegel left the city, taking up lodgings in Kreuzberg. Now in a weak state of health, Hegel seldom went out. As the new semester began in October, Hegel returned to Berlin, with the impression that the epidemic had largely subsided. By November 14 Hegel was dead. The physicians pronounced the cause of death as cholera, but it is likely he died from a different gastrointestinal disease. He is said to have uttered the last words, and he didn't understand me, before expiring. In accordance with his wishes, Hegel was buried on November 16 in the Dorotheenstadt Cemetery next to Fichte and Soldier. Hegel's son Ludwig Fischer had died shortly before while serving with the Dutch army in Batavia. The news of his death never reached his father. Early the following year Hegel's sister Christiane committed suicide by drowning. Hegel's remaining two sons, Karl, who became a historian, and Emanuel, who followed a theological path, lived long and safeguarded their father's nationalists and produced editions of his works.